for this song there's a couple ways to do it and a couple ways that I see them do it live there's some old videos of uh, them playing with the capo on the acoustic guitar at the third fret and then later years he doesn't even bother with the capo so I'll show you that also and the electric guitar parts um, so to touch out on the rhythm here to start out with what we're doing here is we're, we're capoed at the third fret normal tuning so we'll speak to the capo as zero so these would be open strings so if we form what would be an E chord this would technically be a G chord, okay? But we've got the capo taking care of that. So I'll just call this E, F, G, A. Okay, we're gonna go from an E to an F sharp, and this is a minor 11th, meaning uh, we're playing on the, we're, we're gonna leave the uh, open sixth string. We're gonna fret on the one, two, three, fourth fret, with the uh, fifth and fourth string. Then we'll come to the second fret from the third string and leave the first and second open. And we're just gonna take that pattern and move it up a whole step, okay? To a G sharp, add six. I'm sorry, add flat six, because... So anyhow, without getting too technical, so we just move that up a step. So here we have this. And that's the whole intro rhythm. There's, there's an electric guitar playing the same rhythm underneath it, and he's got a little bit of phase shifter on there, and I'll show you that too. So that is the verse of the songs. That's the rhythm there. When he goes into the chorus, he's going to add an A, and then eventually a B. Okay, so what we do is we're going from the E, I could lose my, to the F sharp. Okay, up G sharp. Then to A, then you start again. Then he goes to a B. And then they stop and he sings, this could be the last goodbye. And again, there's the electric guitar and you can do it on the acoustic guitar with the lick. A variation on that, um, if you see Kenny Wayne playing it on the electric, is he's going from E and we'll just call it F sharp, G sharp, and then to A, and then B here. And sometimes he just plays his A. He can even use his thumb, I think, uh, sometimes. So you have this. Alright, so that little lick there, what we're doing, um, and there's two guitars again, so what you do with the first one, the acoustic, is you're going to hammer into the second fret of the second string, but you're also striking the first string. So you have this. All right. Then you hit them open together. Then you're going to hit the third and second string. The third string will be at the first fret, and then you're going to slide it up to the second fret. So, so far we have this. Then you're going to take the fourth string, and you're going to hit from the um, fourth to the second back to the fourth and then you hit it again and slide up to six so all together and then you're back into your verse So that's the acoustic rhythm, uh, basically, of the song. Okay, during the interlude that he uh, goes into, is he does an A for eight counts, uh, one and a two and a So 
you're going to B the second time around rather than through the verse chord. So you're holding B and then they go into the lead. So that's basically the acoustic parts with your capo at the uh, third fret. So let's take the capo off and talk about what Noel does um, more recently when they play the song. Okay, so to play the acoustic guitar along with the electric and not use a capo, uh, you'll need to play your G like this form. You need to use your small finger on the first string, your ring finger on the sixth, and uh, put your second finger on the uh, fifth string. <laughs> Then you're going to use your first finger on the second string first fret. You're going to bring this second finger down to the third string at the second fret. So we have this so far. Then we're going to go to a form of B. We're just going to take this B note and we're going to add the second string at the second, uh, I'm sorry, third fret. I'm muting that sixth string here. And then we go to a plain C, but we can add that G note to the C if you want, because that gets you in position for the next one. So what we have slowly is this. G to the C because again it's part of a, of a C chord anyhow a G note but it gets you ready to go back to the G so that's what I noticed him playing uh, when he does it live sometimes he even does more of an A minor form and that being he's adding his second finger to the fourth string at the second fret rather than the third string but I think it sounds better personally on the second and third it gives it more of that jangly tone and when we go into the chorus from this we're just going from a C to a D and and he's playing a, a an inversion of a D that'd be like a C chord moved up and using this as a bar that's a D chord there's a root note um, he's just playing it as a C form and leaving maybe the third and first string open or he's muting them um, okay yeah it's it's you know again it's live you got two guitars and they're mixing together so that's what he's doing live he's going from c to d rather than this c to this d noah's going this c to this c form so you have this Okay, same with uh, when they go into the uh, interlude. So he's going from this C with a G root note. You don't have to play that G root note. You can just play a C. I notice again he does it both ways. Okay, so that'll get you uh, acoustically through the song without um, a capo.